Ray fluorescent again with another fine video of a great fluorescent tube. But this one was made in Japan, probably back in the 60s. It's an old 14 watt daylight. I don't know this company. As you can see, there's the edge. And there's what the end caps look like. Yeah, the end caps kind of remind me of these old Norelco bulbs. But let's put it in and light it up. There you go. It's an old 14 watt daylight. An old 14 watt T12. Excellent bulb. Hasn't been used in a long time. It's had a little use to it, as you can see a little spot in the end there, but I got it out of a desk lamp one time, a long time ago, so. But you can see that it's, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but let me get down here and really give you some kind of an idea on what the cathode looks like. You might be able to see in there that it's kind of a thick, coily cathode. I love those thick, coily cathodes like that. Fluorescents used to have a lot of those in there like that. A lot of the ones nowadays have a long, thin one. But uh, there you go. This fine little 14-watt fluorescent bulb made in Japan. I have a few of them, not too many. And I'm always looking for 14-watt daylight fluorescence, either T12 or T8. So... Anybody watching this video can bring me some here in Dubuque, Iowa. That would be really cool of you. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and like. And I'll catch you later. Take care now. Good night.